Hey there, Jen here, and this is A Happy Bit. This episode is brought to you by Time Mastery for Women, the complete A to Z system for creating time to pursue your passions, live your purpose, and leave a legacy. You can learn more about the program at timemasteryforwomen.com. So I wanted to talk to you today about boundaries. They are so important for our happiness. Healthy boundaries are essentially knowing where you end and the next person begins. It's this kind of imaginary bubble around yourself. And within that bubble, you know that you are 100% in charge of your own happiness and your own energy. And when you have a healthy boundary, you're essentially saying, okay, I'm going to do less of this thing that drains me. And I'm going to do more of these things that fill my cup or fill my bucket. So what does that look like in reality? Well, let's say a certain person at work really pushes your buttons you're going to limit those interactions because you can feel how quickly that drains your positivity and happiness. So you can just avoid that person. You could clearly communicate the boundary with them. You could say, hey, when you act like this to me, I'm going to walk away. Also, you're going to notice your energy, your happiness, your positivity and mood. And when it's lower, you're going to do the things that recharge you or refuel you. Perhaps all day you've been working on a never ending to-do list or a big project that was really complicated and hard and you feel depleted. Well, then that's a great time to go to a book club or a girl's night out or do one of those things that you know fills your cup or fills your bucket. So when you've figured out these things that energize you and drain you and you establish the idea in your mind that you want to do more of what energizes you and less of what drains you then you need to communicate these boundaries to others in a respectful and healthy and calm way and say, "Um, honey, when you don't take out the trash, it means that I have to do it and I have less energy for these other things. So I guess I won't be able to hang out and watch that show with you later that you wanted to watch because I'm doing your job. A clear boundary with a clear consequence and it's all said in a kind and respectful way. So think about your limits in all of these interactions, the boundaries you want to establish, what they look like, how you're going to protect your energy, and then communicate that and see if it doesn't help. And that's your happy bit for today. I talk a lot more about boundaries and time mastery for women. You can learn more at timemasteryforwomen.com. And be sure to join me next week on Monday when I talk with Megan Tenney, and she shares her story of learning to forgive and let go. I will see you next week. And until then, make it a great week. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Vibrant Happy Women podcast at www.jenriday.com. 